Hello everyone, Bballer13SM here, and today we are going to be talking about a new kind of loop. Now, now I already took care of the scripting that we'll be doing today, or at least what I want to get done. Might add some more in, who knows? But that's because it's sort of long, and I just want to get to dissecting it for you. So a lot of this code is the same as last time, but it's changed up a little. You see all of this is the same, see this is the same, all the way up to there. And then there's a whole bunch of new stuff, and let me explain that. First we have our nicknaming thing for game.workspace get children. And what that does is it goes to game, which we find as explorer, dot workspace, finds its child name workspace, and then get children. A child is just anything that is found immediately after something. Okay? So it's parent. If I find everything that's parent's name equals workspace. Alright? It's what get children does because it's workspace is children. Now, we have for i equals one, comma, number, stuff, do. What the for is defining a loop. It's a for loop. Then i is what we will define as one. So it's just a variable for one. Then equal, e making i equal to one. You do not need local here. For i equals 1, comma, separating these two, you do need the comma, and you do need this pound key indicating the number of, however many, and then stuff. So all of this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items. So number of stuff is equal to 6. Do. That is defining start the loop. Now we have an if statement, which I believe we covered already. Yes, we did in the first tutorial, I believe. Then we have stuff, and then these two square brackets, and then I in between. That's saying not all the stuff, not everything, but just one of the stuff, okay? One of the stuff. You do that for four loops all the time. And then dot name. Now, I told you all loops need a wait. Four loops don't always need one, but I like to put one in just to stay on the safe side. Alright? So if stuff i dot name is equal to brick one or, or is exactly what it says. If this is, ha if this happens or this happens. If both happen, do. If first one doesn't happen and second one does, do. If second one doesn't happen but first one does do. So it just needs one of however many if statements there are to happen. We could put and but for this situation and wouldn't work but and just means if ev if or first and second are true then do. Okay? So or stuff i dot name equals brick two or equal equal sorry brick two which has to be in quotation marks because it's a string. Then, we have our little change color thing, then our ends. So what this should do is the exact same thing as in the last lesson. Let's see. I, was, I did, for some reason, didn't get our play solo up and running yet. Kind of stupid of me, but it'll work here soon. So, In the meantime, if you haven't watched any of my past Roblox scripting tutorials, I advise you go back to the first and watch them all in order. If you do not watch them in order, and you are not already a pretty good scripter, you'll get lost. Because we're starting to get into some more advanced scripting. And as we get more and more advanced, more and more complicated goes hand in hand with that. So I strongly advise you watch all my tutorials. 
No, I don't just want the views or the thumbs up, though those would be nice. But I just want you to be able to script. And if you're really trying by watching these videos, going to roblox.weehee.com and stuff, I want you to have your efforts paid off. So just watch, okay? So we come over here and we see it is all working. Alright, now I'm not too sure if I want to put anything more into this video. It's already a little longer than I had wanted, even though it's sort of short. So, all I'm going to do right now is summon some zombies and then sign off. So, as soon as my zombies come up, bye. Anyway, hope this tutorial helped. Bye.